يا شباب كده بقى اللي جاي اه ايه ده ايه ده ايه ده اليوم عفونا مش مهمنا سي تي ام يو ار جيتنج زوم كود اتس 1 بوينت فور ذس بودكاست واي دونت ايه ده رايت ناو هو بي زوم من هنا بي ان ذا بار فان اي ون ايه بقى سي تي مش مو ايه 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 نيستر اي واتش ذات باي باي سي بابا اي واتش ذات باي لاست ويك كيف اي واز جينيوس مان اوف فايل ان ايه اي واتش من ذا بار بت هنا ذا بابلز ساي سي تو اي مين ذا بار جست كوب ذا نو ان ايه اف نو Do you ever wash your bubbles now? But bubbles not in no actual shower gel. We're, we're just bubbles. So you just use the in bubbles. In the shower? In the bath. Is that clean them, eh? That cleans your bubbles. Does it? Oh, doesn't it? You don't need shower I've gel. I've noticed the Gart Cairn segment's out because Kev's not here. It's, 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 it's Gledder. 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 That's it. We'll Wait, my my Tesco mobile's cut me off. You're not paying your bills? Well, I've got three days to like go and change the account. We can't get away from the fucking shoes, man. I know, mate. What's but the script? So I'm going to start climbing mountains. Cut all the baguettes on your feet. <laughs> Cut all the baguettes. They, they, they actually thought, see, see in the North Face show, but I thought they looked better, like went with the jacket, but I only... Do you like North Face, eh? Si? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm going, to, I was, I'm going to start climbing a lot of mountains. So they're just like, see when you've got a mountain and you tent up and chill out. I climbed Corn at Kilford first time last week. Did you? Aye. Who did you do it with? Me and Jelly. Did you, sir, together? Nice to be fit, much harder than what people say. Nah, it's it's only about an hour and a half up and down, but steep as anything in the way. Only a certain time you can go up and genuinely like because the weather can turn. I I half night at night, so make sure you go. <laughs> did you go did you stay anywhere in Europe? Man? No. No. You always think you're actually. No, you're no like you're laughing. Why, why, why no. do you why do you let his lips with the hell? Fucking the top of the hill, man. <laughs> no, you're right, I've been wandering up a few mountains before. Is that why you're doing it? <laughs> no. But he used to be part of the sky when he was younger, didn't he? Oh no, he didn't drive. You didn't even drive me. You bought a head, but Bill's did. No, but there's actually when you walk up mountains and there's a few coming down, you always kind of uh, try. You want to try and get a wee foot on it. Uh, just to see if you want to go back up ways. It's <laughs> terrible. What mountain are you going to do first? Um, just straight on the Everest. I would love, no, I would love I'd love you to get stuck about a mountain, man. <laughs> I don't know. What's the, what, is the, what is the big mountains? Obviously, K9, isn't it? That's one of the biggest. Canine? It's a dog. <laughs> no, this is a mountain called Canine. But I'm going to try explore the UK, explore the UK mountains, um, just for a peace of mind, and then, and then for there, just did that stupid little idiot in your no, quiet again. <laughs> Very quiet. We need to wrap that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that last week. That getting got a stupid wee idiot. Terrible. <laughs> I feel like I say it very neat. I'm sweating out here, my son. You want to take your coat off? Your 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 you're amongst the, pals, what's wrong with you? <laughs> it, goes with the, it goes with the shoes. Mate, they are. They are horrendous. <laughs> they are horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, you're usually honest with me. I just said as soon as you came in, mate, I don't know what I did this on camera, but they're poor, right? I might just down that in a minute, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's size daily intake of water, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this week's pod podcast is brought to you by Glenn Vodka! As the official spirit of the SPFL, Glenn Vodka. Yeah, that's all Vodka has launched its new football inspired on pack promotion Golden Goal. Different with class. a modern spin out because it's Spot the Ball. I like that. Remember, you used to do that in the magazines with Spot with the Ball? Yes, I did. Unbelievable. So that's the competition now. The scanty play promotion gives you the chance to put your football skills to the test to win daily cash prizes and exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive merchandise. I had to take the last bit of limited edition. The limited you know edition balls are things. on supermarket shelves until May 2024, but there's no purchase necessary to play. So compete for a place in the real time Glens leaderboard today. Scan the QR code on promotional bottles, point of sale, or visit www.glensvodka.com forward slash golden goal forward slash to take part. Hey, well done, Incredible well, Glens good, Vodka. Good, good Who's your favourite manager of the month interview done with Glens Vodka? Ooh. You say Andrew up his ass. And he was right up there. Um, but why? Well, 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 first one of the eighth. <laughs> no, the the, Rob, the Robinson man was the worst ever. He was a great wee. He's a great guy. Great wee guy. You know, <laughs> great wee guy. He's a great guy, but he had my sheet before it, mate. That was genius, man. Oh, I've never seen panic like that, mate. Relax. He's had my sheet, and obviously, I'm an nervous kid as it is. I like the first Dick Campbell one he's done. Uh, I oh, he one. loved you and Dick Campbell. Got on really he was well. A great guy. It was, I didn't like Pink King about the interview though. What There's Dick and Pink. Yeah, where's me, Robbie? <laughs> Dick and Pink. <laughs> <laughs> How is that gone, by the way? What about the line-up of coaches, man? Not too bad, many voices. <laughs> Far too many voices. Different, different ah, no, some, like sta mate, some stable you've got there. So tell us, can I announce it on camera as well? What's the coaches? Uh, He's a bit of their background. Liam Kelly. Shotgun. He's a B licence candidate. See when people write that on their Twitter, oh, that's a fucking pet peeve. I know. You yeah, for B license holder, nobody gives a fuck. Nah. We've got Lorenzo, obviously you know what Lorenzo's like. Great boy, last good. Year. GMS. I think GMS is a, honestly, I think he's a... Nice swearing. I think he's a real gem in the... What's, what's Coaching that? world? 
No, for this time, I think he's perfect for it because see when young kids will look at his old videos with Danny Skills fitting at people's heads, they think he's Neymar. You know they're, I mean? they're the type of players we need to get back into exactly. football. And I think, 100%. I think he's, a, he's a good role model for the sort of, a, well, a lot of the age groups are working with. Uh, Kirsty Hibbert, she's obviously Rangers lady striker, play with Scotland. I feel like I'm missing somebody, but I'm not. No, no you've covered that. It's some stable, I've seen that. What's, what age group is GMS taking? We'll rotate every week. Right. Rotate every week. You don't want to be stuck with a one group. You want to. Make your, the nine year olds could definitely bat a GMS for that. Oh, well, actually, I if you imagine you went to the moment and you came back and they were just they were taking the session. Right. <laughs> I know. You got tied up. <laughs> no, but you're, you're, you're bang on the money there, Sai, with the watching football now. Oh, goodness me. Everybody just plays safe or it's so tactical. Like. Well, can we talk about a certain game before we get into Scottish football? That was Doug Shane. Man City Arsenal, one of the worst games of football you've ever that watched. Could have got football mm. shut down. It was, it, was, it was horrible to watch, yeah. I only seen a bit of it. We were out oh, for dinner. My word. That was honestly one of the worst. And again, the I, men behind the ball? They obviously just, just played not to lose, basically. But again, like I, I love Pep and I love watching Man City when they're their best. But see, when they're no. It's, it's a tough is. watch sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Especially when it, like you say, it's like any time Pep made a change, Arteta made a change a minute. They brought on Doku and Gilles to play wingers. They brought on uh, Doku and Gilles to play high wingers. He made a, brought Tommy, Tommy Asher on straight away. It was like, man, Matt Doku, just stay on him. That's, so that's, like, that's, I can't watch people like that anymore. Honestly, I, I know, but if you're in Arteta shoes and you've got a Man City, to no, get I, a point. I, I didn't mean City though, mate. Just, just uh, when players were getting the ball, you're hoping for a wee bit of. Somebody like, taking somebody on or shooting for distance or putting a cross in. It was, it was just almost keep well, just and Arsenal were happy for that to happen. Oh, it see, see it be producing the players in this country again. Do you think we need to be playing football all the time? Honestly? How did Boca get on the weekend? We gave him the weekend off. <laughs> Aye, weekend off. <laughs> Bad, weather. Bad weather. Bad <laughs> weather. Bad weather. So there's a spit in the degrees it was. <laughs> uh, uh, too hot. So Sally, a couple of the cadets with the Sally Army were watching. Yeah, <laughs> there two karate well. coaches been involved. We brought them in as well now. The what, what sort of strips did the Sally Army play in? Camo. Camo. Cam camouflage. <laughs> Aye, that type of little camouflage. Um, Can your dad's got something to do with that with the Sally Army? Because he was in there. He's in the territorial, wasn't he? He's <laughs> in the territorial, I'm the wee man. He's probably like, he's probably like, like he's probably left him and then they went against him and started coming into Bok and affecting that, taking your kids because of his behaviour back in the day. The wee man. <laughs> Is he still looking? I, mean, I heard Bellingham's dad was in, like high up in the army, he's like a sergeant, wasn't he? It's weird how him and his. It's like you and you, there's a lot of similarities, isn't it, with you and Bellingham? It's mad, his two sons are honestly the greatest minds it's ever, and me and my brother have got the worst <laughs> mind. Me and us two have a bath still together, no joke. <laughs> they two are just running football, but I know. I, I'm. Football is becoming a for me a, a real struggle at the moment. A, a moment to watch, I think. I didn't enjoy that game. I, I just think that. even individual players now. I think say ten years ago, or even before, you, you would look at a lot of teams and there was a lot of proper individual players. But you went to a game and you watched the game and they excited the life at you. Mm -hmm. I struggle. So to tactical. Watch, I struggle to watch. I, I struggle to find one team. There's a, sorry, no one team. A couple of teams there, but where there's got proper players that excite you know to watch. Tottenham, there. Ah, they're excited to watch, I think. I, no, sorry, it's a He team. means individual. Oh, individual individual to her. Th that came right out of football now. Mm -hmm. um, Why do you think it is? Just because it is so tactical? I think so, I think. With Pep, probably Pep was the start of it as, and then it's no take away, he's is the best ever. Um, but I think since that, everybody's kind of went this, try to copy it or add the name a bit, um, and it's probably took that individual. So Kenny Conley yesterday? What a guy. Says you were a young kid who went to Austria with the first team. First team, I. Do you know, because your stats were so good on the... Jump test, sprint test, and all that pre season. I beat supposedly, and I don't know if this is true, it kind of uh, back me up that Larson's jump at Celtic was the same guy that done it, and my jump was better than Larson's. Fuck off. Sorry, and I'm no bullshitting here, but the, the guy, so the, it was the same uh, guy, was at Celtic, Andy, and then uh, I think people are going to think I'm lying here, but it genuinely what? No, I don't, I'm not doing think you're lying at all. Uh -huh. I think the fact he said fuck off to the fact that somebody can jump better than Larson was the funniest no, thing. Larson had a leap, mate. Remember, he's two goals in the poor old game. Best jumps ever, aye. He had a leap, uh, mate. He was good in there, actually. Just he scored loads of he does. So Mark McGee had never, never even seen you play, but he just went on your stats and took you off, so that's what it kept. No, mate. And then he seen you and said, send them fucking back. I just took a young kid away because you could jump. I know, mate. Know I mean? Scottish football, it. No, oh, where's the, where's the, like, Kenny's probably got a half the story. Off. Line, <laughs> he pushed it off. <laughs> he said you were the quickest on the running gate to zone. Spring gate. Ah, I was. I you were quick, were you? I was rapid, mate. But I, I feel they knew that the narrative in me as a player can jump and can sprint. I was quality, top quality player as well. That's why I went away. That was the trip that there was an earthquake. 
and big boy, somebody, and so that was there. a Buddha one. Bob Malcolm farted, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a Buddha. <laughs> Mate, that's mad you say that. Bob Malcolm was there, and somebody done a shite in Bob Malcolm Flair. <laughs> I can't remember what it was though, mate, but it was so there. It's definitely Mark McGee, were it? Naked. Mate, well, it might have well, it might be Mark McGee, because what had happened was there was an earthquake, a hit, hit around about, and the hotel was shaking, so we've all ran out of rooms. So while we were out of rooms, somebody sneaked into Bob Malcolm's room and just done a shite right in the middle of his <laughs> He'd flare. hate that as well. No, he was, he was gone mental <laughs> trying to find out who it was, so I don't know what it was. Murphy, Murphy, uh, Jimmy Murphy and Art Steakin was in my, was in my room with me. Murphy was squealing. Telling you he was shit. Ah, he would need. Ah, he was uh, really terrified. Maybe so, rabbit shite, so you'd know straight away if it was his. I, I thought it could have been Murphy because he was obviously very shite in his cell. But so, who do you think the prime suspect was? I think McGarry. McGarry would have been up there, but for me, I think it's Dingus Martin McGarry. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ding Dingus shite in the middle of the Dingus has got, he's obsessed with Ding Shite, isn't he? So, <laughs> but that, was, that, go, that go in serious, but. How know. was Bob, were you? Bob Malcolm was amazing, young boy. Amazing, amazing with young, uh, the young boys. Uh, um, Always, always sort of, always just treated you normal. Know, I think, I think that's always the the the, the way they treat the young players. Um, but he was a brilliant guy, and what a fit up player he was, mate. Uh, a good player, but just refused to do any run. Uh -huh. I, I I never go. Like, did you get any tips away the first time you were oh, boy? Mate, I, I got you know? ev every trip. Yeah, we were just. Yeah, we were just. I was living, mate. Living, living, living. Did you go anywhere for three seasons? Nah, oh, I mean, we were after the first class. Between Almondville, first class to Australia, America, mate. Time of my life, man. Did you? Oh, I took yeah. the piss as well. I knew I was going to play like twelve minutes a game, so and drank like you a Rod Stewart first, you? Was that, was it, were you there that trip? never went to Rod Stewart when I was in London mate, so but when we went to oh, right, when we went to America we flew in U2's private plane you flew, ah. flew first flew class to Australia as well? Uh, in first class to Australia mate, but only I was sitting next to fucking Samurai you forget I came through Libya though where did nah. you go fucking Skegness or something? Nah, four for me Gary Bowles pre -season pre -season first pre-season friendly and left girl Rose I remember that <laughs> that was my first ever men's pre-season friendly but you've got to tell us stories for that trip like I've told them hundreds of times when I, I, yeah, was I, when I fucked it, told me I fucked a bit of pizza in the Nike sponsor's face, mate. Big Charlie was asking me hit cross ass by a bit of pizza, mate. So I'm fucking steaming, mate. Pick up a bit. I poured, poured a pint on my head in front of Lenny and everyone, mate. Sitting at the table, just picked up my pint and just went, fuck you, man. How old were you at the time? 20. I'd be you're you're 20. still quite old, aye. Eh? So then Charlie was like, acting me, because cross ass was busy, mate. Like, see, cross ass always still up to ass and stuff like that. Uh, so Charlie's like, look at cross ass, go and hit him a bit of pizza, man. So I picked up a bit of pizza and went, <laughs> Fuck you mate, just at the last moment, Cross Ass has done that, the Nike sponsors sitting behind Cross Ass mate, I'll never forget just going, seeing a bit of pepperoni slide down his face man. <laughs> and disbelief, and Lenny's like looking at me going like, what the fuck are you doing man? You see the man's like, out of it? Pretty brand new mate, uh -huh. that I was don't it, mean, for I, all that trip. I think you give yourself far too much a hard time about that good drink. No mate, see when I woke up the next day mate, like six first team players, I woke up in my bed like that and there were six first team players just staring at us like that. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. They were like, you better go and see the manager, man. So I chapped Lenny's door. I was like, uh, Gaffer, can I speak to you? He went, fuck off, we'll speak to you later. But then he organised a meeting for like half nine that night, mate, so you'd see the full day. Mate. Oh, that's like, a wacky feeling, feel it, mate, just talking about it. Me and Paul McGowan, so he made us both wear a, a week's wage just fine and a mankini would be for to wear about the hotel. Well, that's brilliant. That's what, that yeah. was with Lenny, so good, because so he could have fucking slaughtered you, man. That's not bad. See, at that time, do you wish you'd, you, do you wish you had, I think I've maybe asked this before, stayed at Celtic instead of going on loan? I uh, should have stayed there, huh? Because Lenny liked his mate, he told me he said he'd played a couple of games that year, but was desperate to get away because of the money and playing first and football. Playing. Uh, but that American trip was a bad one. There's one, there's a story, and I don't we'll never own the planes. To oh, the, the, we and used that, to do that chat roulette. Not going to name any, but <laughs> we were on chat. Because it was CU2's private jet, mate, you could get Wi Fi. Wi so we were on the fucking private jet at like four in the morning and the things we had people doing on the other side was incredible, <laughs> mate. <laughs> That's one of the best I've ever uh, Everyone was involved, mate, it was brilliant. Uh, right, SWG3 shows, you love SWG3, don't I you? Did. One of your favourite venues. So this is, I mean, this is absolutely outstanding. So we're, we're doing live shows, as it's obviously came out now. The Cologne one sold out, which is incredible. Munich, only a few tickets left, so make sure you go on to that. I know you've asked me about SWG, but the reason I'm saying that is that we're, putting, like on but we're, the reason we're putting on shows in Germany for us to go and perform and be a, be a part of it, but then listen, we're still putting on stuff at SWG, which is going to be incredible. Just going to be Midge playing Red Ass, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> for three nights. Hey, you'll literally be the only person there, mate. Tell another shite story. I'll be gutted if I miss that, that Munich trip. So you might, be, you might be involved in this SWG free show, which is a massive pull for people. Well, I did, did. You and Russell I'll Anderson, be, that? Aye, I can't wait. I'll be, in, I'll be involved in one or the other, but I'm hoping it's Munich, I'm not going to lie to you. No, uh, SWG3 is a great venue to watch the football. Oh, amazing. The 22 shows were incredible, weren't they? 
Uh, but the Scotland ones especially, which is obviously the only ones that happened, but the Scotland yeah. ones were ridiculous. Who, who, who did we score against in the Euros? England. Czech. Oh, Czech. Oh, Czech. Yeah. Oh, Czech. Uh, remember the scenes, oh, Sean Rooney, remember Sean Rooney? Just ah, looked that's right, and Sean Rooney was with his mates up on the fucking table. He could sit with Heather Watson. The tennis player. I know, mate. That's incredible, isn't it? Need to get him on to find out how that tennis world and find out how that happened. <laughs> Mate, really? that's mad, isn't it, Sean Rooney? You love things like that, didn't you? Well, do you think Sean Rooney will be able to tell you about the tennis world because he goes out with Heather Watson? Oh, mate, it'll be Come incredible. Come bra. <laughs> mate, we could have got him on this, but we'll you get him on. He's loved any tennis around, didn't he? I'm obsessed with <laughs> so tennis. Who, who was your favourite women tennis player? Sharapova. Sharapova. Oh, she never... Remember Murray came to an interview? Did he? Nah, he said she wasn't the best. Did he? <laughs> uh, but mine, I like Serena. Oh, Serena's a darling, mate. There is that documentary. You need to, have you watched it? About his, uh, oh, is that like King Richard? Mate, he gave up like a 60 grand a year job to put them into poverty because it would aid them in developing them to be a top athlete. I think that's a lot of shit. Mate, it's true. <laughs> can, can mate, it's, all, it's all filmed. I'll tell you what, it is a bad dad. I don't care for what putting in. You're a bad dad. Uh, he is a bad dad. He says it. Into poverty, but man. He doesn't give a fuck, mate. He's planning He was mad, though, wasn't he? Oh, he's mad, mate. Brilliant, that, innit? Uh-huh. Was, he, was he ruthless with him, I? Ruthless, mate. Ruthless. You need to watch that documentary, mate. It's incredible, man. He, he had a full plan for him. Mate, he already had two kids. He was like 60 when he had them. He was old when he had them. He, he was watching somebody win a, a tennis tournament and won like 250 grand, and he's like, ah, I'm going to have two daughters and I'm going to get them to dinner. And he, and he, he got his Get us out of poverty that I put his back into. <laughs> <laughs> Dole ball, man. Crime him. By the way, question. So, see with the, obviously the, the live events over in Germany and then the SWG free free group, group games here, what happens if Scotland go through? Just a month trip in Germany. There's a man in charge, ask him. There's a wee German there, look. So we're doing the three live shows, aren't we? German, look at Aye, come on, tell us, Hans. And then we're, we're <laughs> going to we're gonna come back here. Ginger Hans. <laughs> ah, you ask a question, you need to go the answer. We're going to come back here, um, and we'll put our heads together where we, do a sh- we, do a sh- we come to SWG and do a show there, or we'll go back here to Germany. I think we will go back here to Germany at one point. Uh, we, we're going to the, me, the, the four slings have got the Euro final. So yeah, what about that? You've got tickets to the final. Amazing, isn't it? Me and my dad, yeah. Melissa and George. They're your German accent. How did you get them? The George, UFA, George, raffle? The, by the ballot. Unreal. Uh, George was in that and won, won four tickets, so we're all going there. So we're going to be George, doing that. George, George for Broomhill? Okay. <laughs> 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 How's, your <laughs> How's your brother entering ballots, mate? He doesn't even have a phone. <laughs> no. Or an email address. <laughs> How's he entered the ballot, mate? Mean, that just, that's a genius, eh, him, though. <laughs> and that, that's a genius, eh, not a ne, ne phone or anything, and he sorts out four tickets. But we are going to be doing a, a live show for the final. Who the Slins? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Open goal, then at SWG for the final. I obviously won't be there. Your accent, no, I've no goal, uh, that. so good. I've no, I've honestly no goal. Oh, yeah. That's big Kev. That's big Kev, the big German, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but but it's going to be the, it's going to be, mate, a roller coaster. Nah, summer, I'm going water some. I'll go have. I wrote, so you think there'll be a lot of duns? <laughs> what? You said it'll be a roller coaster. <laughs> summer, do you think there'll be a lot of duns? You say some of the roller coasters. It's Aye, I must have been in that. Just been in excitement. <laughs> it's the right choice of words. Probably right. Tickets are on sale now, and you can get them what? In the description box below. Below. Right, April Fool's Day. What teammate have you had? Who was the easiest target to play pranks on? Mate, I've been thinking about this for 24 hours, right? Have you got in? <sighs> I've got like a few, but none that I can think of that just constantly was, uh, is getting hammered. I've told you about the boy Jack Vale at Motherwell, though, ain't I? Nah, he's thick. Mate, he's so thick. And he'd done an interview uh, on Motherwell TV a couple of weeks ago. And it's just his Yorkshire accent, but every morning, right? So see if you've got the speaker in the changing room, it plays the tunes, it's just his interview on loop. And the boys <laughs> piss themselves all the is time. Is it a badge? Uh, what does he oh, say? Oh, every generic football comment under the sun, yeah. mate. And he hates it, it gets played constantly. <laughs> is Prank still in football now? Who? Is Prank still in oh, football? Oh, Prank's <laughs> 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 Does it still happen as much? Because when we were coming through it all, it's happened, didn't it? Uh, but Those Jardine much. Was incredible, mate. Was but some of the pranks uh, back in the day were too far. I didn't really enjoy that part. I didn't enjoy that. Seen a few people put their f- feet in their socks and midges chatting their socks. Uh, that, mate. mate see, I, if, any, if midge was injured, mate, I, I would put... I would put, I, Sometimes, see what you've done with your skiddies last year, mate. I'd put my socks in my rain jacket when I was training. Because if midge was injured, mate, you shite in your socks, mate. Aye, see the amount of times boys have fucking came out of the shower. Oh, for fuck's sake, shite oil. Disgusting, mate. <laughs> Aye, I'm not into that. Mate, if somebody done that to me, I'm fighting them. Oh, yeah, right are me. you, mate? Oh, 100%. I don't find things that are funny. Nah, well, I, don't. I do if it's other people, but no, if it's me. That was the one I've I, I, I told it on my, my podcast, the very first podcast I'd done with you on Zoom. There was an t- Italian trialist, mate. 
Italian Tyler's like, you just can't pranky them, can you? This and one of them sat in his water bottle, took the water <laughs> out, took the water out, and done a shite in it. And the big man's went to take a tan in his water bottle. And I'm like, I, I, honestly, I just, I couldn't find it funny, mate. I just felt so no, bad. Aye, that's amazing. That's incredible. Man. Who done can it? I do something. Oh, you got to name him now. Because that is up there, like, one of the best. Shite in the big man. He's a, he's a big open goal stars, bra. Big open goal stars, bra. Fucking hell, man. There you go. And they do get it for that. Ronald Koeman. Except for maybe Pence. <laughs> I, I Ronald think you'll Koeman figure out Pence. He's got SWG, isn't he? Koeman's brother. See him at SWG. Who, any day, you? I was probably the one people would play pranks on. Would they? Just a joke for you. Who would they? Paul Quinn, I, I've told you before, Paul Quinn, first team. I went out to training. he done a shite, wiped his ass with my boxers, put them back in my jeans, <laughs> and then everybody thought I had skids. <laughs> but didn't they? The worst thing was. That's fucking bogging, man. Mate, but Did the you put them on? No, but the worst, thing, the worst thing was he's not letting anybody know he's done it and he's left my boxers just hanging out the jeans because people generally thought I had skids yet again. The man. amount of times people have thought I've had skids or I have had them, it's just horrible, isn't it? But, and then people think it is. That is so genius, was Paul, Paul yeah. Quinn was wild, didn't he? Brilliant. Brilliant again with the younger players, uh, a proper character, mate. He was. Pranky's on there, that problem, 100%. The last one I remember it was a good dream was John Souter and uh, Jamie Walker at Hearts take one of the young boys' cars and parking it in the middle of Hermiston Gate Roundabout. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I've heard Hermiston Gate Roundabout is the busiest <laughs> roundabout in Edinburgh and they've just planked his motorway in the middle of the I grass. Know, yeah. So see, he had to basically, the only way to get it is walk across the roundabout to get it. That was good. Aye. That is brilliant. And that was a pure ongoing investigation, mate, for weeks to find out who'd done it. What about prank phone calls on away trips? Oh, they they were yeah. the best, mate. You, uh, we done one at Danny and Willie, we done Danny McGrain and Willie McStay, phoned them both at the same time, mate, and I had them, had them talk. You phoned me? You phoned me, Willie. <laughs> you fucking phoned me, Danny. Oh, I mate, we were in tears, man. You said they were very fine tonight. Paddy was good at them. Was he? I phoned my assistant manager at Swindon my first year doing there. He was so gullible, nicest guy in the world, Pete Shirtlift. It was him that got me doing it at Swindon. We used to, I used to phone him, keep it every couple of months when you're on a way trip, so I phoned him, I was like, how you doing Pete, I'm a scout in Scotland, uh, we've got this young boy playing in the second division in Scotland, he's incredible, Celtic and Rangers are looking at him, but he wants a shot down south, and Pete's like, oh, this sounds good, he says, what position, he says, full back, get something down the pitch, he says, oh fuck, we'd definitely be interested, we're looking for full backs, I mean, there's only one problem, I can't take thrones, I went, why, he went, because he's only got one arm, <laughs> mate, see the silence on his phone, he's like, ah, all right, <laughs> He's like, so would you come down here? Would you come down here? Look at him, and he goes, "Can I get back to you in about five minutes?" And just hang, hung up the phone. Mate, we were in fucking <laughs> tears. We used to play, but see the one with Paddy as well. We done when Paddy and Willow Flood are like that. I've told it before, but it's a fucking genius. Me and Cads had a, a joining room at Paddy and Willow, and Paddy's like, "We'll phone the guy and say our telly's broke." And when he comes down, you'll hear him coming in the door. You burst through the joining room naked and wrestle each other on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so we hear the wee guy coming, me and Cads strip ball like me. Bursting through the door like the Borat scene, man. You're, you're uh, fucking uh, Cad's cocks in my fucking face. <laughs> I'm spinning him around that, and the wee, mate, the wee boys just stand. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah. Mate, there we touch. Paddy was good at the prankies, wasn't he? I've, you, you done one when we were going to the fringe, and it was it was who did I do? I don't. Who was it? Remember that one? And it, it was the uh, the Sun newspaper you done. Who was that again? I can't. Do you remember what of it? Was it you? <laughs> so, remember? What did I say again? <laughs> <laughs> and did you buy it? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> that was you know, you, you do that, like, fuck. <laughs> we were you know, with my dildo for a while, wouldn't we? And I think we'd done a couple of shows that we were like, this is going to come out in the paper or something. So we phoned the producer up and go, like, very Scottish son. <laughs> uh, Paul Slane and Simon Ferry being spotted. <laughs> He's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> His voice was incredible, wasn't it? <laughs> Mate, see now we've announced them on the, uh, for the Hydro, you could get a snod at their prank on stage. On stage, I was thinking oh, that. Mate, oh, honestly, mate. he's... You used to be sitting in the car when we used to travel back and forth. You used to be in the car when they'd be phoning somebody and you'd think, oh, he's phoning his, his missus or his da or something like that. Next thing you know, he'd put on a voice and just do a prank it. And, and maybe I Scott McDonald's when he got Griffiths a belter. So, uh, Kenny Connolly was telling me yesterday he, to try and get Snoddy to tell the Griffiths one at the Hydro. He says he got him an absolute belter. I don't know if that was the one where he kitted on for 442 magazine I and he was, he was doing like a quick fire round. But he was saying, he's like, favourite position to play. <laughs> but Griffiths would go like, strike and he's like, I thought you were going to say 69 and do like a fake, <laughs> bad fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember, do you remember when, um, when the SPL was sponsored by Ambrew? Aye. 
Who was the big striker that used to bang loads of goals in the lower leagues? It wasn't Juker? it. Armando. No. Armando. No. Is it McMenamin? Uh, Kenny Co- Juker or uh, so McMenamin. Call McMenamin. Call McMenamin. Snoddy pranky Tim when he won Player of the Month once. <laughs> Sponsored by Ambrose. Like, Listen, because you won Player of the Month, you've got a, a year's supply of Ambrose, right? <laughs> He's like, I'll be here, the day will be here for you when you win the Player of the Month. He's like, so you need to come down in a van. And he's got a van. <laughs> they come and give you Player of the Month for the <laughs> 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 That's real, he's taking the other side of Bruin. I think Snoddy is the main man, isn't it? Uh, for the pranks. Good, uh, I've heard he's the best. I don't know. We were playing, we were, uh, when I my first year at Swindon, my best mate was a young boy, Cal. <laughs> See my pictures when we were in Italy in the summer. I met him and he's missing. Aye, aye. Great guy, mate. Good looking boy, having himself. And um, they were, the reserves were playing red in that day. And uh, he, he texts me after the game, he went, mate, I've just had a fucking world day. We beat red in reserves 4 0. I think there was all sorts of scouts at the game. So I, we just finished training and I was like to the boys, look, Cal's just texted me saying this and the boys were like, go and phone him. So I phoned him and said I was uh, Roy Keane's chief, chief scout for Ipswich. <laughs> Roy Keane was at Ipswich at the time. So I phoned him and I'm like, hi Cal, how you doing? It's John Town here from Ipswich Town. Uh, me and Roy were at the game, the, the, the reserve game against Reading today. We were actually there to watch a Reading play, but you, you caught our eye immediately. Uh, we're looking for a, for, a, for an attacking fullback. See at that time to it, our manager's walked in while I'm doing him, Danny Wilson, right? I remember, he's like, keep going. So he's the best guy in the world, Danny Wilson. He's like, are you pranking Cal? And I was like, he's like, go on. <laughs> I was like, in it. So Cal was like, yeah, geez. He's like, yeah, geez. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd done really well, didn't I? He's pure sure of himself. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Roy really likes you, he says, but the problem is, Cal, uh, we are looking for a much harder team. Like, Roy feels like we're far too soft got too many pretty boys in the team and you seem like one of them he's like naggies I ain't no pretty boy he's like no 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 I know I look like this but I like, I get, I like, I like to get fucked in and stuff like that and he goes like, right okay well Roy's trying to change the full image of the club um, and uh, the only way he's going to sign players now is if they sh- they're, they're willing to shave their heads before the, the, the sign and he's like paused for like 30 seconds like that yeah, fuck it, man. I'll, I'll shave my head. <laughs> he's like, yeah, fuck it, mate. I'll shave my head. So Danny Wilson's like, that to me, ask him about how he's getting on at Swindon. So I went, are you not happy at Swindon just now? And he's like, well, nah, not really. Like, the manager's just playing the skis at left back. He's having one. I'm like, I, I, oh, I should be playing ahead of him. And fuck. Danny Wilson's keep going, like, keep going, keep going. I'm like, so are you not happy, like, how the manager's treating He's like, well, to be honest, mate, nah, not really. He's like, I'm, I'm thinking about going and seeing him anyway. So Danny Wilson's like, just comes on the phone and goes, ah, Callum, I'll see you in my office tomorrow. Or hand your phone up. Oh. Nah, mate, what the fuck? You've just killed me, man. Mate, but Danny Wilson's I'd brand new. Well, he probably. must hate you, mate. Like, you've fully <laughs> done him in there. there. But, mate, I wouldn't have done... Like, what's the chance of the manager? Right, 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 right. And he's buzzing off it as well, mate. Uh, but he, but Danny Wilson took it well, one, mate. The prankies are amazing. Oh, they, uh, they, need to, they need to come back in football, don't they? Have you ever been pranked? It's not he's trying to do me before, I, 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 I can remember. Is he? Uh-huh. But I, I was so wise because I've fucking done them all the time, do you know what I mean? Aye. No, I know, I kind of the same, but I never answer numbers that are withheld or I've not got, ever. Never, nah. so, not even back in the day, nah? Nah. Because it was always on a withheld number, nah, wasn't never. it? Never. Uh-huh. He's been done, I can I know, tell you what No, I know, I, I think I might have, but I can't actually remember. But I would be because I'm so gullible to things like that. But it's no after until the call ends. And you're thinking to yourself, I feel like I'm fucking oh, dead. Now. Yeah. You feel to, and you're thinking, who else is on that phone with him listening in? Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I've even had actual managers like phone me and me thinking it's a prank straight away. Pure wary as fuck, it's you? like, nah, mate. Uh, what happening? Brilliant. Have you, aye? Aye. I had one in January there. I told you about it, I showed you. Don't say all the time. Remember I showed you? No, I, I, I blocked his number straight away and it actually was him. That is unreal. Right, we're on our topics this week. Uh, first one I was going to ask you about is there's two sides to this. Fans are asking players for their football strips, the big fucking cardboard signs for or against. Info, uh, against. So you didn't like me guys asking players for their heroes for their strips, nah? No, nah, that's all right, but it's when you see full grown men. <laughs> the men. Big, big guy. No, I have I, your, so imagine your dad a game like that, Larson. Can I have your slip? That's right. <laughs> 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 I've no issue. I've no issue with, with, with boys asking for players for the strips whatsoever. But if it's parents saying to the boys, make oh, a sign, you make you one. Uh, set your, dad, set your, your boy up for failure. And you know, as soon as the boy gets it, that's like you fucking geese uh, that. Geese that. Geese that. <laughs> what about what about wearing football strips? And also, this is another part of the question: babies wearing football 
See, when a newborn's been and somebody buys him what a... Aye, and they, I'm for and it all you're day. You're for it, aye, aye. Wee man dressed like Bobby Pettel on his in the world, aye. Nah, I'm against it, mate. For or against, eh? Newborn, like, getting your... St- a newborn, no, a newborn again. Oh, that's the first thing. Again for a newborn. But I, I, do you know what? I actually think wearing... Grown men wearing fit boy tabs. A few years ago, you'd be like, oh, something alright with him. But, but now it's quite cool. Quite Jackson cool. Irvin. Aye, uh, I think you know it's quite... In America, that was quite a style. Honestly, mate, see my first day at Swindon doing there. Swindon's a, it's full of good people, but there's a few lunatics doing there, mate. Like, mm. So I'm walking through the town centre, mate, and I'll never forget it. A woman and man, hand in hand. The guy had a full suit on, three-piece suit, pointy shoes, and the woman had on a pair of high heels, denim skirt, and a Man United tap with Carrick 16 on the back. No way. <laughs> Swear to God, mate. Nah, Strange no. I'm not having that. Strange I don't. And, and I think fitness strips is a hard one. I think, like, see, if, see if it's like an old, like, vintage or retro strip, it's all right in it. But I don't know, like, something, something, no right with well, growing adults. The airport, when you go to the airport, on, somebody's wearing no, a fitness strip. I'm not having that. I'm telling you, no. See if, see if my da, <laughs> if my da turned up to an airport with a full Rangers tap on, I'm, like, I'm not going to hold it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going home. I'm I like, am way with airports. I don't, no get, I don't get that. Uh, it's a big thing. You see the modes in airports, don't you? Nah, it's, no, I'm not for that. Nah, I'm not having that at all. So you don't like fans supporting their team in there, bro? That's not supporting your team, mate. I bet you it's like, it's like, it's like, it's a must. I must wear my tap going into the airport and that. Uh, no for me. No. Right, this is the one because no this does it. my tits because my mum does it all the time. Anytime she takes you for a dinner, she takes you somewhere because she's got 5pm fucking deal vouch- or a voucher or something like that, mate. All for it. And it is on oh, voucher? It is on I'm fucking against me. I'm for it, it or not. The only thing I think is though, I feel when you turn up with a voucher, the staff look at you like a piece of shit. When do you ever, wait, and when, here's a question for you, when do you say, oh by the way, I've got a, I've got a voucher to you, at the start of the meal or at the end? At the end, when you go to pay? So they bring the bill out and they've already wrote the total on it and you go, oh, by the way, I've got a voucher. Uh, I know that fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm against it, man. How much were your shoes, mate? <laughs> man, people, how much were your shoes? 65 quid. They're Tom's, he's just putting them off face badge on. <laughs> he's got his couch out, hasn't he? He's got shoes at his couch. <laughs> uh, you ba- I I'm, four. I'm four. Last one. This is my favourite one, shagging with a big light on. No, all darkness. What, the full house? The full, full street? You, to make, you make the full street put the lights <laughs> But that's good. Only fake. shags at four in the morning. <laughs> Only. <laughs> the darkest uh, bit. If, if I see a bit of daylight coming in, that curtain's getting shut as well. <laughs> and I think it comes for the size yet. You. you never want that to be properly seen. Uh, I've seen myself, I'm telling you now, I've seen myself getting a wee bit irate and, and swearing when they go to touch it when it's no hard. Because <laughs> you're thinking that's far too small for you to be touching it now. That's got to be brick. <laughs> So stay away. I've seen myself. I That's remember, got to be drunk. I remember the pictures. I remember the pictures of Bob. This is years back, and she went in the wee dabble, and I went, leave it, <laughs> <laughs> leave it until that you see that sticking up a wee bit. Because I've not got the willy in touch. With this. No, I've no. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The question. Pitch black. We had a we had a neighbour right. No neighbour across the road for us. Directly across. He was a busy bastard. Mate. He used to put letters through your door. See if he came home late or made too much noise, he'd have a, he'd have his name at the top of the letter, like a headed letter, and he would like complain to you. Um, it, it happens again. I'm going to inform the police and stuff like that and put it through your letterbox. He's peace. One day we were sitting in our bed, man. Honestly, half about half ten it was, and we had a three story townhouse, so we could look down onto him. And he uh, he had one of the his bathroom was right on the street, and it was like a frosted window. You <laughs> could still see the outline on me. Honestly, <laughs> I know what's coming to you. Sitting down a shite. I'm like, just there. Come here, come and see this, man. <laughs> Honestly, mate, so we are sitting watching him, right? So the windy was there, so we, we, could, we were just peeking up so we could see it. He's singing, gets the toilet roll, mate, and he's like, ah. And then look, 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 mate, see, for the next two years, mate, every night at half ten, he went for a shite at that time and did the exact same thing. Oh, Incredible, I, mate. I, I, we used to, we used to, we were, half ten, he's going to do a shite, we'd run upstairs and sit and watch him do a shite. We all know, right, mate. I remember when I was uh, at Celtic and I was getting a, I was getting a massage off one of the Obviously the masseurs who was quite quite shy. And we're in the hotel before the game, mate, and in the room next is two people were at it. What? And now you could hear them getting proper the the wall getting battered. And it was the most awkward massage I've ever had. Do you know what I mean? No, just because Did you not know your man dad was like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a perfect opportunity for his thing, Kev. Uh, ask him when he's thinking. This is where he's it. genius uh, on these uh, free subjects. Oh my god. Kev's definitely big light on oh, me. Oh mate, he? 100%. See him last week since he was only He's bed actively for getting up to turn the light on. Well, light on. Turn the light on. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm nearly there, I'm nearly... No, wait two minutes, I'm going to turn the light on. Mate, I see this. Right, here we Are you FaceTiming him? Aye. He's doing something there, isn't he? Let, let me be with him. Oh, imagine that, mate. Right, so we're calling. Yes. Oh, shit. How do we, where do I show this? Well, the camera's there, camera, right? <laughs> Go where, the, where you are. Like that there? He's not answering, mate. He's not that, he's not that. that. I look terrible in FaceTime. Oh, I mean, I see when you do that with your phone in your face, you look terrible. If he doesn't answer, just mess him. Uh, just ask him, just message him now saying three subjects this week, just need to know if you're for or against and he'll hopefully write back before the end of the show. Or even just the last one. Uh, even just the last one then. Uh, okay, uh, I'll fire that through to the new. Uh, so what are you going to write? You for or against sex for or against with a big light topics. No, just do the last one. Last topic, one, for or against sex with a big light on. <clears throat> right, okay. Kev's replies have been genius for him, to be fair, haven't they? Uh, he's been flying, hasn't he? He's been flying. Oh, how did the. Uh, you, you watch your dancing? Disappointed your performance no, there? I, I, purely because I know what my performance was. I so See, when you look back and reflect, where do you think you went wrong? Uh, like that one. No, I don't know. Can I tell you who I blame a wee bit used to? I feel like you could have done a bit more to get on him for me. Because you know that the, the discrepancy in the level between the two is was, was too much. Uh -huh. That's the way it would be. Been the big man. Too, I. Sorry, mate. I thought he was very quiet. I was poor that day and I, I was so flat, wasn't I? Uh -huh. That is definitely the way to beat the big man. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you, uh, you, you, uh, you can get in the seed quite easily as well, do you? Uh -huh, definitely. Put wee seeds in there. I'll tell you right now, it. he will go to clubs and bottle it and play shite. Guaranteed. Do you think? Guaranteed. I don't know. We're full dressing room on his back. No, but Andy, I'm gone. So I'm going to be taking on the dressing room while we can let him go. Tell you right now, he'll lose a lot of games in the dressing rooms. But no, if he was at his best and they were at his best, he'd win every game. But he'll, he'll So you've seen, like, you've seen like the Halkin that Hearts or whoever plays at another joint, they're better than Kev? No. But what I have seen is a couple of <coughs> places I've been pros have came to play against the players and the players have bottled it, played like nowhere near the way they could against the player. Uh, or likewise, by the way, the pros have came down and been pure shite. I've, I've right. seen a few videos of that. Know what pro darts players say, but see, every time they play a, a darts game, they're mad with it. They're absolutely it? steaming, so they've got like steady hands. Fuck. But they're all steaming. Sport for me, they that, mate. Ah, you'd be perfect. You could be unbelievable, <laughs> though. Be Terry yeah, Jenkins. You could be a joke. <laughs> you could be a joke at darts. But darts, mate, just get that's your dream, minute. it? Uh, you see, when they're practicing darts, but they get steaming. Maybe not when they're practicing, but on stage, uh, like that. Surely all, that affects your drink. form. Did that, eh? Aye, all them. But they're usually, isn't all usually water in that they're drinking? The wee Belgian guy. Aye, on the stage. Who 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 is who's your Kev gonna go to first? Is it Kamarnik? Is he in Kelly, first Kelly, aye, I think Kelly. Del McKinnis one, I think. Guys is good, GMS is good. Is he aye? Aye. Yeah, Kev will eat him alive, won't he? Guys will know stand See, a Gaz could bottle and all that's the issue. I, oh Gaz should bring his Thursday pals down. Mm. For the, the crowd. Them against us? Them against us. The great show. Are, are, are we all going are we all gonna go to the, the club? Are we all gonna go to the club? <laughs> 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 Do you want to go? I would love to go. Uh, I think you. I think you should go, mate. I think we should all go. What's uh, What's Gary McKay Stevens' go to drill at football? Do you know that? I don't know. We'll soon find out. Have you spoke to him about like, how you want them coaching that, or are you just? He's shadowing uh, at the start, first couple of weeks. We man shadowing just to it, see what we what we want him to today, basically. He's he's an Ajax drill. He's an Ajax square man, isn't he? It's got to be very individual based, right? You're not coaching a team. Do you know what I mean? Is, is it players. three and fours? No, for the show, it's for six in a group all the way down to 12 as it gets younger. Right. But still, most most time everyone's got their own ball. Do you know what I mean? I ball between two or whatever. Love That's it. good, mate. Do you yeah, let's go into the football. No, wait, just quickly. Nah, four. Remember, coaches used to do that. The day we're going to do the Ajax drill and the fucking. Do you ever get that? Aye. Well, I'm extreme, mate. Today we're going to do the Ajax drill, then we're going to go into the Blackburn drill, and then to the Leverkusen drill. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not doing a fucking Celtic drill now. Mate, do you know who's the world's worth for that? Gordon Dale. <laughs> And I mean the world's worst. We had kids, mate, who were, mate, <laughs> were, were, mate, were miles off it really in his lap. Mom would do with Real Madrid probably day. And he's saying, doing a Real Madrid drill and these kids didn't have a clue. And see when he's seen them completely fucking up, he was like, plenty, take care. <laughs> Swear. He was big on that, mate. He was big on the, the, the Ajax drill. and I right. and the Real Madrid drill. We used to get that settled down. We used to bounce from the Ajax drill to the Leverkusen <laughs> drill to the Blackburn drill. <laughs> First of all, all three of the teams are shite. <laughs> why, are they, why are they in their drills? <laughs> oh mate, honestly. Uh, why is it an Ajax drill? It's just a pass on a box. Box, you know what I mean? I'd have made that I, famous. I'd, I'd, to be fair. But you're right, because I, I would call it an Ajax box. Uh -huh, it's always Ajax, isn't it? Mate, DL blows my mind. 
he's brilliant, isn't he? He is brilliant. I think he's he amazing, is, mate. He is, See you on that first day. Derek he's me, got the biggest nose in Scottish football, but he's brilliant. Aye. Derek, to me, is always going to be the number one in the, the show, but Dale is just doing something completely different. What is he like when he first comes in that pub, that pub, that box barn, man? He doesn't shut the fuck up, mate, the full time. I don't know, but he can smell the toilet as soon as he walks in the door with that sneak. <laughs> Sick his nose, mate. See, any, you could mention any, mate, you could go, see that plant? That plant? I've never told you about the time I shagged somebody on a plant like that, mate. How have you related that to. Oh, you could bring up any, mate, and he did a story relating to it, wouldn't he? <laughs> he knows that, mate. I think he's on it, he's that. <laughs> you notice he always does that, and he. Watch it, watch it, he's mad on it. <laughs> He's a hero, mate. What a guy, man. He's been too quiet over the years. How's he just new coming into? Uh, and it, like, I don't think he has, mate. To be honest, I think no, no. I think this is mean, a perfect platform for him. Uh, mate, if a show was designed for him, mate, it's a, I swear. <laughs> or yeah. if a host was designed for him, shall I say it's you? Ah, uh, you too. Uh, the uh, question you ask him. <laughs> See, any that's getting talked about, I'm just thinking, how can I get <laughs> around the deal, Shaq? <laughs> <laughs> Even half camera the questions he asked him, mate. But see, when I ask him, anyone else will go, ah, fucking you are. Hi! No, he's buzzing. He's buzzing. <laughs> he's so excited, isn't he? He's buzzing. Oh, what a hero. Right, on to the football. Comfortable uh, victory for Rangers at the weekend. Looking good going into the Celtic game. Big Dessa scoring as well. Aye, no bad. Good. Go back and what you said. Ah, he could go back forward every week. I oh, know, come on, there. Paul. Aye. You're at it now. You're at it now. What do you mean? With the Dessa stuff. He's, a, he's still a bit of an enigma. He's, he's, he's done very well. I know, I mean. You've made out that he was going to be this brilliant signing. You're saying he's. No, but at the, I think at the time was he was he thought he was going to get put out in January. You did. No, he is. Range is best striker. Hmm. That's definitely. Aye. Right now, for me, he's. Big Lamas came out and said, front. I'm a striker. I think he's doing. It, I'm a striker. Could be man. wrong. He, I think he's doing no bad there in, uh -huh. there in Holland. But anyway, on that game, yeah. I heard. This is actual there. all round game. Is, Runs his side is, quite is well, actually good, aye. Like, his yeah. energy, his work rate, his link up way. It's just at times he looks a bit awkward in front of goal. That's, mm -hmm. that's what been, is what's, and one thing I will say as well, which I think is frustrating for a player and for watching is he's, he gets caught offside all the time, man. Aye. All the time. And then back at that game, it but he's had a big impact, mate, in a lot of games. But see, on that again, Peyton Honeyway for Dessers, Will Fish for Hibs, mate. How he lets if you watch the goal back, right? Get goal, goal side Will, Will, Will Fish is two yards goal side the Dessers. The ball goes wide, mate. There's only Dessers in the box. You need to attach yourself, be goal. He just lets Dessers run in front of him. Yeah, right. You're right. It's some defending. delivery, though, isn't it? Ah, it's a great delivery. Can't well, it's brilliant. Can't, can't with that cross. That run where the. Finishes it well as well. Where, where was Cantwell can't well playing? 10. So see that, that, run, that, that run into that space for the 10, it's so hard to stop, isn't it? Right. And then the ball crosses. This is obviously a massive game for Rangers and Celtic, but you know when you think individually big players, you just think they need a big game. This is, for me, Dessers needs a big game. You're spot on, needs a good you game look back the at the one at, at Parkhead, where he has a massive chance to score, and he missed, I think he missed a couple that day. This is where, on Sunday, he has to stay. Was Carter Vickers playing that day, mate? <clears throat> what, right. the Ibrooks one? Uh -huh. no, no, the... He played at Celtic Park one. Celtic Park the one. one. The Celtic Park one had a massive chance, Dessers, and that's where you're like, that's the that's the games he has to step up in, which he'll need, he'll need in Sunday. What about team wise? We've talked about this on the Kim show and the left back, who are you playing? Barisic played Saturday, didn't he? Sterling. Aye. I said Sterling. I've played Dijon Sterling. Just for his defensive qualities or just all round? Uh, no, specifically for his defensive qualities, I. but I just think Borna seems as if he's away in, in the summer. I think he came off injured at the weekend anyway. He definitely had an injury towards the end of the game. Uh, and I think, I just. Again, like he's probably had a a couple of mistakes in old firm games, isn't he? Where well, I feel as if Rangers fans maybe get a bit nervous when they see him in a team sheet against uh, against Celtic. I see he's been a very good player for Rangers, but I just think he's away in the summer. Dujon Sterling for me, any time he's played, wherever it may be, Don't I think he's done very very well this year. So he's just one of them where I want to see him in the team, but I would need to disrupt the midfield. Do you know what I mean? I think Diamandi and Lundstrom have been really good as mm -hmm. a two. So where else can you fit him? It's right wing or left back. I'd rather see him left back for the game. I wanted to ask you, <clears throat> being an attacking player, who plays left wing? Did they put Seema straight back in? I know he came on, he got minutes on Saturday. If I'm Rangers, I'm playing Seema with his goal record. I've liked Silva out there though. Have you? I've really liked him out there. Um, I think I'd start with Silva. I think most Rangers fans would say Seema. He has a brilliant season. His numbers have been brilliant. But... Um, I think just I would go with, with Silver there for the left. And then would you go with, with Cantwell as a 10? I would go Cantwell and Lawrence. Double and 10? I'd, play, I, I, I'd just basically play one of them narrowed right up and just allow to have the freedom on the right hand side. 
So whether that's Lawrence playing on the right of the three or, or Campbell playing the right of three, whoever it may be. And just playing but you're just drifting inside well, that what, and letting Tav be that the, outlet out wide. What they're going to need to do is, and which was mind blowing that first game at Ibrox is when they allowed and that was Beale's tactics they allowed Ma- McGregor. McGregor which is crazy and so the fullbacks they allowed right. McGregor and fullbacks the ball no, there's, no, there's no way they'll do that they'll be right up no, against no, that, so is, that is any team's pressing trigger is either the holding midfield player or the fullbacks right, so right. if you're allowing both crazy, of them mate. to get the ball at any time you and that won't, happen, the ball. that won't happen I think Rangers will be very aggressive with the press yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. come right after Celtic um, do you know what see the thing is as well I was talking about like sort of, you always get excited for the big games in England, didn't you? And a lot of the time, the day let you do because how tactical they are. Old firm games are still tactical, but they never let you do that. No, I, I, excitement. I, you isn't know it? for a fact next week's just going to be a very good game. Whether that's for a quality, for a mistakes, for a drama, doesn't matter mm-hmm. what, what comes. It's just going to be a very good game to watch. This is the biggest one in years, isn't it? I think it's Rangers. I think it's, 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 it's Rangers' biggest two weeks domestically for for a long time. Well, like ten year, over ten year. What with the Celtic game? Then? Well, when was the last time it, out with Rangers? Obviously, winning the league. When was the last time Rangers were real favourites going into the last seven games of the season? No, not for years now. Over for the ten t- year. Part over ten year. No, the Jet, the Gerrard season. Gerrard season the league, because they won the league early. Uh, no, but that's what I mean. Like they won the league and they won the league in March. Like, but now they won Aye, the league. Right, yeah. So in the last seven games, like that's I, I a think long for, time. Because yeah. I think if Rangers win. I think if Rangers win Saturday I, I, and It'd then they win their game in hand against it. Dundee it's five points ahead I, I, think be, I, I think Rangers will win the league if that's the case Aye. for me well, but listen it's a big if because I think Dundee are very good as well by the way but no, obviously the big one is obviously beating Celtic at Ibrox what about that Hibs boy kicking the ball somebody's he'd hit somebody else and he that was Mate. incredible and what's the chances man by the way what is going on it'll go under the radar it's not his Instagram no he set piece coach is taking it too far <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? John Newell's done unbelievable to stay in the pitch, by the way. Yeah, that's like blasted off his face, mate, for five yards. That's a concussion if I've ever seen one. Mate, I've told you, I've told, told it years ago, but see the day the big midfielder hit the carry on the back of the head and right. shit, mate. <laughs> I'm talking tears, mate. I couldn't <laughs> fucking move for tears, mate. He's absolutely craigin' that Curly told it, mate, and it was just went, fuck you, man, mate. <laughs> <He's seen. laughs> My favourite part. How's stuff like that so funny? <laughs> My favourite part was him saying to you, you should have told me I had time on the ball. Uh, you should have told me I had time <laughs> on the ball. It's on a poor shape, you stupid bastard, man. Have you ever had anything else like that in a game? I mean, I've, I've genuinely never, never seen, that. seen that. I've never seen that. Remember somebody done it to one of Alex Ferguson's players? He said he could have killed him. Do you remember that? Who, what, what was that? Yes. Van Persie, that was that. He said he could have, could have killed him. He done what? Somebody kicked the ball off Van Persie and he said he could have killed him. <laughs> what? Like the oh. up or something? He said it was scratch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that. Um, was that do you remember really the day. famous one with Harry Redknapp was doing an interview? Oh, oh no one did remember the fucking results. Twat some for miles away. Mate, suppose that was Mark Burchill. There was rumours it was Mark Burchill. Hey, East, mate, that is. Remember Keown got smashed in the face. Uh, he was elite. Uh, the elite. Uh, uh, <laughs> he got punches. You know what? <laughs> but you can see me Harry Redknapp even for the next. Oh, he couldn't. He couldn't he compose himself. Mate, it for the next mate Ross McCormack at Motherwell. So, uh, you're right, Dad. Jamie came around. You're right, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, man. Wait, Ross McCormick Mother, every warm up used to zing about 10 boys trying to hit the manager's seat every <laughs> single day. Mate, it was brilliant to watch. <laughs> you said like when Charlie hit Danny McGreen in the back of the head. No, I was the, But Danny, da, da, uh, Danny wasn't sure what had happened. He wasn't sure if it was a ball, but he was just, he was just looking about. He <laughs> said, so, what the fuck just hit me in the back of the head? I was the other one. Charlie used to pick Danny. That was the one. So, that was the one. Danny so Danny, <laughs> Danny set up the, the drill or the cone. So when we were running around doing the, the warm up, Charlie would move the cone. So you seen Danny. <laughs> fucking these distances on the right at all here. Oh, I'm brilliant. I told you I used to do it at Peter Head. I don't see if Jimmy Mack played a formation that I hated. I would move, he'd, put, he'd always put the markers out before we came in. I'd always move it back to a 4 3 3. <laughs> come back to his back. I put the markers out of four. Incredible. Uh, Gary Roberts, that was a funny. Remember Gary Roberts, we scouts him? Aye. Him, it used to do every. Portsmouth and that. I never heard of you, son. We played it. So he played, he just fucking. The boy tackled him when he was standing and he pulled his shorts down. Do you remember that, nah? <laughs> Genius, mate. Just whipped his shorts down, boy, stand to me, son. He slipped on. <laughs> Anything else? Embarrassing? Um, no, it was magic there. Beat you. section. I, 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 I want to hear this boy's answer for the next one. What do you think the penalty decision for Rangers? Not for me, mate. Not for me. Honestly, man. What do you think it is? A hundred percent. It's a pen? Aye, hundred percent. That's been a foul since the 90s, mate. Never mind 2023, when everything's given us fouls. 
That's always been a foul. Why are you saying no? Because the fact he doesn't know that John Suter's he's there. For a he's just done. He's ah, he's 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 he can 100 percent feel sorry for a defender. I was saying that me and Pence argued for about 20 minutes before. He can 100 percent say I feel sorry for Triantis. He doesn't know he's there. But I mean, Kevin 1995, mate. If he went up for a header and he elbowed a centre half or got a forearm, I said it's a foul against. But it's it, wasn't, it, it wasn't like I understand if you go over that, then 100 percent. No, no striker goes up and does that. Sometimes you see it now and again, but <laughs> now and again, now but again. But I, I think that one for me. Yeah, like, listen, you feel for him. And the boys not near him. That'd be another argument. Uh, I couldn't believe no, it. No, boy is near him. To be fair, right? Aye. But it's not Suter's going to hit that boy, is it? It was going to er 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 recede. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant. Of course, he's attacking. Like, Suter's attacking the ball. Aye, but the boy's going to recede. Aye, but what do you have? Ah. I can see both arguments, mate. Huh? Oh, fence. No, so, I, 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 I would say, mate, hundred percent, like. I agree with you a wee bit, he doesn't know where he is, but he, at the end of the day, he does smash him in the face, doesn't he? Right. And pe people are saying, pe people are saying like, he doesn't mean it. As if intent's right. ever been a barometer for a decision. It doesn't matter if it was intent or no. If, if, he, if he deliberately elbowed him, would be sent half. But it doesn't, if, if it's a foul, intent doesn't matter. Again, it's for me, we're just, we're, we're, what we're doing as a, as a nation now is debating clear decisions. But there is, there's a lot of people that didn't think it was a penalty. Is it sports scene, Faddy? Faddy, Faddy, what? Honestly, Faddy's doing my nut, isn't it? He is. <laughs> he is. Keep him sure Thursday, mate. Come on. I know. But uh, I, I, that's the thing. I love having these debates with Faddy. But then, see, when I'm watching him date and I can't be that, he go back. But, uh, what, but was I, that, what was Faddy's argument then? That he didn't know where he was? No, but Faddy also said, did you see the, the St. Johnson... Uh, Dundee. St. Johnson Dundee? Where the boy he does, uh, McGowan he does the ball out the Dundee goal's hands. Of course that should be ruled out. But Faddy was saying he could, he could see why they'd be frustrated that a goal should, should have stood. Clear Phil. Mm. He's got two hands in the ball and he's out of his hands. When he get it sorted for Thursday? Aye, because you come on Thursday. I can't even, mate, no. I'd Fair. love to see it because it, you two are yeah. the fit more brains of the, of the show. Sure, uh, get the clip of the podcast and show it to Faddy and Phil. You, you watch it. Faddy, you go see you watch I will bring, I'll, I'll clip that up, no worries. I'll what bring that in Thursday. One hundred. Do you know why? Your Tesco you know, but you know, but you know why? Cut me off yet. Do you know why? This isn't me back to it, but one thing I will say. Gives my opinion, Fad, gives my opinion. Fence sitter, fence sitter. No, mate, I'm not. I would I, always you're say. You're just the fence there. No, I, I'm not a fence sitter. I'm I, not you're, a fence sitter. You're, you're, you're the biggest fence sitter <laughs> on this couch by a mile. And no way. Whatever you, fucking only one person on the couch. Whatever you think the Celtic fans want you to say, no, you'll I say. Said, how can you be a fence sitter when I said Rangers were favourites two weeks ago? That was that, That's not sitting on the fence. No, but listen, Andy, what I would say is. I I'm only one year. No, what I do hate is punditry and, and, and uh, certainly. If I get labelled it with people, well, I would go mental because I hate in this country where, because you're a Celtic fan, you will say what Celtic want to hear and the opposite will go against them. Rangers. And I do feel when I came back to my first show when I did say certain things are a wee bit of being a cheerleader and it's no You've me got your couch tenant, you're hosting your offence, but... <laughs> no, I'm certainly not... You're no me, I'm not sitting on a fence in the But I do feel, and, and it happened yesterday, I did see the the one with Boyd and I don't like it and I think in this country you've got to be honest, regardless who you support, you can't be... And listen, sometimes, listen, when we say who's going to win, win the league, you might favour a... Because it is so close, you're going to favour the team you support. I get that, but when decisions happen, you've got to be honest. No, well, I, I was at the game, so I never seen it. What happened? But well, boys said Kyogo's was not it? Snoddy and Kyogo's is a penalty. Penalty all day long. It can't be. I've argued with certain. How people. can somebody watch that? I think it's not a penalty. That's, the, that's a penalty. Hundred percent. I've talked about that before. And that's a bit that baffles me that boy could sit and he's probably at the wind up and he sees the conspiracy and I get that. I think we're. And do you know what I hate? What, the, what we do as well as a nation is we compare fouls to other fouls mm -hmm. when they're no the same. Yeah. So like a lot of people are saying, because I think I think VAR came out and says that I don't know if you remember when Kyogo got a penalty against Alex Cochran at Ten Castle. VAR came came out and says they got that decision wrong, so they compared it completely. Danny compared this because Danny. for me, Kyogo initiated the contact against Cochran, whereas yesterday Devon initiated the, the contact against Kyogo. That's why it should have been a penalty. That's to me the, the the biggest issue in this country with with certain pundits that they want ben, to sir. please the other the other fans. And I'll maybe listen. You you go down the years and probably people who want to clip up thousands of times where I've done it and I'm big on it as almost as a wee joke for a laugh but when I'm serious I'll be as honest as they come as honest as the day is long Paul 100% right well we're going to go Neil McCann said it wasn't a, uh, wasn't a, a uh, I don't think Neil McCann said it was a penalty well, didn't he uh -huh. it wasn't a penalty Rangers Neil McCann said that he said it wasn't a aye he's one of the best pundits gone mate what do I always say to you I always say Neil McCann and Fadley are the two best and they've disappointed me with that 
I think Neil McCann. I think, I think Neil McCann's right up there. Sexy as well, isn't he? I I like them. Them. Do you know what you like? Ben, ben Shepherd that you like. He does. I How have you found Ben Shepherd so far this morning? Enjoying him? Brilliant. Uh -huh. He's just he's he's his class that wee guy. He, does. he really does. He takes the matches, the celebrity matches, far too serious. I'm speaking to him about that because I know how much you liked the previous this morning presenter. Is he taking over? Do you like him better? Never near him. <laughs> Get him back. <laughs> Get him back. <laughs> well, but here, but I, but for me, Demo uh, O'Leary, what's your thoughts on him? We were having this debate at dinner last night. No, no, for me. Fence sitter. He's a, he's a he's bedwetter. A fence, he's a fence. I think fence sitters are the worst. Where is he now? Demo O'Leary. What team? Aye, uh, but he's, he's not been in the No, he's years, a presenter on this morning now. Eh? Oh, is it? They them all the time now, yeah. It's like Clement. The views have went last. The tapes of presenters all the time this morning, didn't they? You like McCammon, didn't you? Nah, she's magnificent. Uh -huh. Just loves life, didn't she? Uh -huh. I've written about her. Um, but based Cat on... Cat Daly thoughts, new presenter? I like Cat. Yeah. But I would just, honestly, I, I, see, see, see you going on that, and I'm, he's riled me up with that fence. I, I do, I do. I I fucking, he's got me going out more. <laughs> <laughs> feel my brain scrambling at the moment, but say si, I think fence sitters are the worst type of pundits. I really, really do. Who, I, who would you be? Your name names? Uh, Maybe go Scotland. What about English fence sitters? No. All right, go well, like, go Scotland. Go in Scotland. Go for go. it. Mate. <laughs> see, we see if he's a fence sitter now. Ah, uh, exactly. <laughs> you know, I don't see a lot in <laughs> Scotland. I, I really don't. But I'd, I would rather somebody makes an opinion and. Makes an arse yet? I hundred percent. And see, they ones they've made our, we've made an arse yet loads. Oh, hundred percent. We get it. The big man saying nice to me. That's why he's a genius, isn't it? Oh, he gives uh, his opinion. But there's something about go. There's something's a cussing and go. Anytime one of us say something, a few days later, uh, as soon as Bernardo happens, scored right. that text, to me, he's still not. He's still not keeping Bernardo. Uh, I mean, Bernardo goes and scores that what, a, a great goal. Well, uh, just move on and say, where did you make the performance? First half was a struggle, wasn't it? First half was really, uh, really poor. Um, we couldn't. We've seen a lot. Of, you could never know if they were going to win though, no? No, even I, I, after the first half. We like, I, the way Livingston would set up and just where they are, where they, where they are in the season, you could see Celtic going and winning that game. First uh, time I've seen Big Yen get up close to me, I thought he was a fucking handful again. Yeah. I, I, school I, scale's actually done quite well against him, but you could see he's a good player, mate, Big Yenge. Because like he's actually him. no just a big target man, is he? He's Bring it good in that, mate. Uh -huh. Aye, if they were made aggressive, and it's hard, but if they were made on the front foot, I think you'd have seen a lot more of him. And he has an opinion for the uh, roughly a few feathers, and I've said it before. Not having a lot in the set of room, doesn't do enough. I thought he was actually quite good, yes. Off the ball, he's good. Gets the ball back. Ah, he's good. Doesn't do enough on the ball, mate. Doesn't get seen the first half. Hardly touched the ball. There was one. Well, the hard, the hard, the, the hard thing about that is, is the guy he's competing in that role is one of Celtic's best players. So you're going to compare him, aren't you? If he's, if he's a but he's there was a, one in nine minutes. If you look back in the right. game, nine minutes where. Kyogo makes an unbelievable run in a what I chooses to play. Play safe. Play, play he side plays one. his back inside a lot, um, mate, doesn't he? But I think yesterday but actually think he was brilliant. Better. Nah, uh, he, he makes That's a massive, massive difference. difference. Even when, when he picks up, here's another big shout for you. I think Attack is better than O'Reilly. Aye, I'm with you there. All day for me. I think last year I think loads of people would have agreed, but Attack has been injured all season. O'Reilly's had a good season, obviously. So, aye. Oh, Listen Hattie. for me, they're both they're both very good, but I, I just think Hatati. I don't think Celtic have a Hatati if Hatati's not playing. If that makes sense, uh, there's nothing like similar. Uh, like whereas O'Reilly, Bernardo, the same, yeah. box to box, like whereas like he says, I Bernardo and O'Reilly, similar type profiles. But Hatati, he's, he's very good, mate. Very good. What about Maida's crossing the first half, mate? That 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 was the thing for me, for me in the first half. The quality, quality was hand. so poor. And we've spoke about the, the style this season and being slow and. Very different to obviously last season, but the quality was very, very poor. Even, I mean, I think it made a four times at the pitch crossing the ball. Kuhn a couple of times uh, put the ball. Kuhn was decent, though. Second half he was good. Second half was Kuhn. Kuhn's been excellent the last couple of games. He obviously got stuck. But even the first half on the ball, with no pressure, players kicking the ball at the pitch or, or the passing wasn't good. Second half was much better. Kuhn reminds me of Paddy Roberts. He fucking double him as well. Ah, like looks wise and everything, mate. Even the way he plays, he's short touches. Like touches uh -huh. he's, been, he's been good. Uh -huh. Do you think he? Uh, the, there's one. I think he's probably. Do you think he's that? He, he'll definitely start. I think he'll start. I think. Uh, I was surprised he took him off and kept my on. Mm. So if McGregor's fit, think it's the same team, but McGregor for a while. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> but that was <coughs> see, see what I'm talking about with Bernardo though. Doesn't he start yesterday? He's not going to start. I, I, I don't think V. I know he's brought him in in the bigger games, but I don't think he'll start. So it's hard to almost. Will they, will they spend that money on if he's not a regular start? Do you know what I mean mm -hmm. by that? But I do think he's, he is a good player. But if O'Reilly goes in, you think that Bernardo Almost would think uh, be a starter next nah, year, wouldn't you? Nah, Even just the way Bernardo takes the ball when he first comes on, I, I, you can tell he's it's a, a very a good player, goal. Uh, that's a great Even goal. the build-up where he's won it, driving, 1-2, finish. 
Yeah, big he boy, scored. mate. I never realised how tall he was, mate. By the way, his numbers will be good as well. For assists and goals. He scored a few goals, hasn't he? I, I think O'Reilly's had get the most assists in the league as well. I think that's where the game, if you're a tactical point of view, is going to be fascinating because I think Rangers are going to be so aggressive in getting after Celtic and Celtic obviously like to play that sort of possession based play across. the danger for Rangers that they face is is where Kyogo Kyogo's at his his best is that on the last shoulder and in the behind Keep dropping in first half it was there man nothing man but but V Rangers they'll be a lot higher, higher up, up uh, so the uh, space in behind space in behind and I think that's where Rangers that's where Celtic can I get think a my head is the same there. as well mate. it made that it's a great point though because Rangers especially Suter and Golton have struggled with boys doing the side recently as well haven't they Aye, well, that's where it comes to and, and, and Clement won't uh, Clement won't um, go to that game and listen of course he knows the strengths of Kilgo but he will get after Celtic and I think that's where for a Celtic point of view is that's where they will look to exploit it exploit it mate Aye, but you can't just obviously kick for the goalkeeper. Can't just do that because no, you, know, you can't kick to Kyogo and and Kun. Ah, you can't do that. So obviously Celtic will need to work out a way, playing through it, and then looking for the rematch. I think through. it's fascinating stuff. I think it's so hard to say. predict the game. So damn it, because I, I, I think both teams have been really good in spells, not so great in spells. Rangers have been a bit more consistent recently, is why obviously they're, they're currently at the top of the table with well, below their game in hand, but. It's, you could, it's so hard to, I couldn't say with 100% fact that you no know, one team's going to win one team's going to draw Who Sandy if you were to put your <laughs> neck uh, uh, Do you know what I think is the favourite? A draw Genuinely I think a draw I, I just I, I think it's going to be a think draw I really be, do. think it will be KG at all? Yeah, of course it'll be KG But and I mean as in two teams are a wee bit like I'm not sure where they can play the goal for this It's hard to say who'd be fan I'm actually trying to think I think there's like, our favourites Do you? Do you uh, think so though? Uh, at home uh, definitely I can see why we obviously because they've been more consistent than Celtic recently but I don't know uh, it's hard to know think I past Old Firm results you know what I mean Celtic yeah. won the two Old Firm games this year and yeah, I think Celtic played well I, in the last one didn't they and I think that's what I was going to say I think Celtic have won the two by no playing great Great, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I don't Good know point. I think, I think it'll be a draw personally but if you could make it more interesting I don't interesting know who's and, favourites and you, the two managers had to wear a certain type of outfit on the side what would you put them in I'd, I'd love cowboy. to see come on in like a full blown bird goss <laughs> I think he looks like Wait, an Ed. He's a full one head, isn't he? <laughs> well, get on his shoulder like that. Aye, you're right. <laughs> what would you have them in? Rogers and a leotard. I'd love to see that. I would love to see that. I really would. Just leotard, nothing else on. Look, with a wee bunny rabbit, wee bit behind him. <laughs> I think that would be a great like view. Wait, did you see the thing with Gerard this week? Liverpool says for a new manager uh, developed online during the week. People saying if Gerard had stayed at Rangers and won the league again, he'd have got the Liverpool job at this stage. What do you think of that? Andy, well, you're Mary there. You worked under him. It's a big call. That to be honest with you, I, think, I still back, yeah. think they would go for Shabby Alonso over. He's not taking it, is he? No, but what I'm saying is they've obviously went for Shabby Alonso. If Gerard was still there, would they still went for Gerard for over? Hit. No, I think they would have still went for Shabby Alonso because he went and I. Would he have been on the next a, list? A and, and I think it would, the, the chat always was that you know, Liverpool would probably see him as an actual predecessor of a, a, a Klopp, but. I think it would be very difficult to say that. Listen, he's if he if he if he stayed and won the league that year, finished with what, a cup or two or whatever, and kept doing well in Europe. I, I've no doubt the links would be there, but I wouldn't say definitively he'll be the next Liverpool mm. manager. I think they would go for for a. For it's a, a big a step in it for Rangers to Liverpool. I know obviously Ange went to to Spurs, but you never know. Do you know what we've not asked him enough of about Gerrard? What was a typical Steven Gerrard team talk? Good mate. To be honest, like no. No too long, most of the detail would be already through the week. And like I said, I think I think Clement's similar on the fact that like you can see he's got a presence, can't you? You can mm -hmm. see he's got an aura about him. Gerard was the same, mate. See Gerard, Gerard was talking, everyone's shutting up. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? And like if there was discipline to be had, he was he was really good. Ah listen, I've said it before, I, I really liked him. I thought he was a good manager. Are you surprised um, Andy didn't do better at Villa? Uh, aye. Aye. I mean if, it's hard to say why, but I thought he would, he would go down there and do well, especially with the budget they got. He spent a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought he would do well. And then, obviously, Emery came in straight away. Ah, it was ridiculous. How good is Emery, man? But you remember that Emery went to Arsenal and flopped, mate? Mm -hmm. Nah, that's, that's, that's it. Like, like, it's experience, and it? It's just building experience and then getting that big job at that time. Andy obviously got the Villa job off the back of being, being a, a manager for three years. Year four years. Mm -hmm. uh, he's now had 15, 20 years exactly. of experience. Uh -huh. but, Brilliant. Uh, Alright, give us prediction for the game. I think there'll be I think there'll be bundles of chances, but one each. Fence I don't think there'll be a lot of goals. Yeah. Then sir. I am 
I'm going to go with a one each. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you, I, I, who do you think I draw benefits more? Say like, say like with the last game being at Celtic Park. I agree, aye. I think yeah, Rangers. I think to draw them all right. I think. I, think, I think, think Rangers need to win. I think if Rangers, but I, they need to win, harsh. I don't think they need to win, but I think. But who else do you see beating Rangers other than Celtic? Well, I, I think if Rangers, well, since Mother Co- did last week, but, but I think since Kilmarnock came in, the record has been incredible. They barely, they have barely dropped points, have they? Uh, Aberdeen Rangers Celtic. win. I think you could be right, and I think they'll, it'll be hard for Rangers to be stopped if they beat Celtic on Sunday. All right, five percent allocations back. Is that enough? No. No, I'd, I'd just back to the way it was. Full, full Amazing that back in the day. Well, worldwide, that goes viral. One of the best things you can see. That's what makes the game. Because the atmosphere isn't as good now, is it? With it. No, no. no the whole majority of the away fans. The away fans are usually the noisier fans, aren't they? In these games. Uh, uh, well, it depends what the result is for a start. I think it's always that one where, see, if you're sitting in the away end, you're like, oh, they're not even singing. Singing. Then if you're in the home, they're like, I can't even hear them. <laughs> Mate, I've never seen that. See, see when the away team scores, it's, ah, it and it's like a it. second. It's like a pause. <laughs> And you just see an eruption for this Aye. one. And, it's, and do you know what made me miss world? it the most? See, watching Hibs Hearts this year at Easter Road when Shanks goes that goal in the Brilliant. last minute and the full Hearts end behind Amazing, the goal. Amazing, mate. Like, no, see, nothing will fill him for. It's just only this country, though, that would ruin a game, ruin a game I like know, that. Mate, I know, mate. Uh, definitely. Full, full full capacity in the world. See, if I, I, I was to ask you this, if you could go to a Celtic Rangers game as a Celtic fan, would you rather go to your dad's age, your dad? Would you rather go to Celtic Park or would you rather go to Ibrook? I prefer the Ibrook. Going to Ibrook, I'd rather Amazing. go to the away game. What about you? Um, either or I suppose it's just Long you can sing the songs are here Doesn't want to go against it No but wait, wait, So where, where is the So the did you, ever go Cel- to, did you ever go to Celtic Park as a Ranger fan? Aye Loads aye Did you huh? Right amongst that It's amazing uh, Losses, draws, wins uh, Favourite game you went to At Celtic Park Well I, I was it when Rangers won the league in 99 uh, Neil McCann But I can't remember it Who were you there? Aye I was too yeah. young uh, one Dick that I can did remember. Did Dick and Pink or just Dick? Just Dick. The drobby goes here. Just Dick, Pink, then I go. <laughs> uh, I, remember the f- I remember the 4 2. Kenny scored 2. Kenny Mar. Nice. But I've seen, I've seen shockers. I've seen three what was the worst? Three of the high. No, I remember. Was it Ven- Venegar or Hess? I think it scored in the last minute. Or Scott McDonald scored in the last minute. 90th minute. Defeat 1 0. Uh, something tells me it was Venegar or Hess. I think Heather at the back post. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, uh, what, what you know it's a like last minute oh, it's goals are the best, best man. Do you remember um, Maloney's goal at Parkhead? I think it was into who was it? I remember Nakamura's goal, I remember Gary Caldwell reverses it to him, he takes his touch and outside. Like, he reverse he swears. I remember being at that and I think my favourite maybe was the one I'm sure I am sure this is the one I was at. The one still went down to ten men. And uh, Edward. Aye, and Edward, and they put the two up front. That was at Ibrox, wasn't it? Aye, it was at Ibrox. Do you know? Me too. Sure, I was, mate. Aye. Do I need to see your ticket? I don't know. I don't think I was, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I just remember that game being amazing. Thought I'd like to be a part of that. Were you at the game when Larson chipped close? That was 6 no. 2, no? Aye, we, watched that. we all watched that in the house. Did you? Because yeah. oh, your season tickets were in the Rangers then, didn't they? That's go. incredible, mate. We might probably sit in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Aberdeen were on a. That's him safe now, isn't it? I've but... made an arse at saying they're getting hell again. No, no, but they were. Um... Tense, mate. Ross County had a lot of chances. Chances, I am. Um... I like Ross County under Kelly, mate. But the first goal. Uh, uh, for, for Ross County have been decent. Ah. Least, but that first goal, that's one of the worst defences. Mate, I've that seen. is the worst OG I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> how that. Get... What the fuck is he then? I don't know how he's Why is he phoned? I don't know how he's and he's in net. I don't know how he's not cleared that eye. I don't know. But the I, whole... That's the worst OG I've ever seen. Can you think of worse? Talk, except for Tom Boyd taking his teeth out against Brazil. <laughs> that's the worst OG I've ever seen. By the way, Craig's had a few belters, mate. Did he? Oh. Can mate. you think of one that we could maybe get up? Uh, well, we have, we, we know, the, know right now, but that he had, mate, do you know, about I think, 10 a season. Did he? So oh, mate, I scored an OG in the playoff semi final. Did you? <laughs> just started seeing Steph at the time, Did you right? That? <laughs> nah. Just started seeing Steph at the time, so I was like, I'm going to be on the telly tonight. Like, well, you, you should watch it. Mate, Ball comes in, I'm on the back post, I just go, fuck you, mate, right in the top bin. So I've had a shocker after that, mate. I'm talking shocker. Every time I got the ball, I gave it away. See, so when Danny you Wilson, scored the own goal, though, you hiked Steph. She's watching this. I knew the camera was going to be right on my face. <laughs> I knew it, mate. Was it a bad this camera was going to oh, terrible, mate. Terrible, right in the t- So anyway, I come off after it and I'm, I'm laughing on the bench. The, ball, the camera goes to the manager. And that prick Gary Bittles is like, look at the boy Ferry, <laughs> cost his team, and look at him laughing on the bench. <laughs> Absolutely nailed his mate. <laughs> what were you laughing at? I can't remember. Somebody must have farted or something. Have <laughs> <laughs> you scored an OG? No, I don't think so. I was just thinking that though. 
Did See, millions of shockers, right. but I don't remember scoring. Told you I scored an OG on my last yeah. ever game, mate, for Peter. Ah, brilliant. My two boys are like, you're a fucking loser, man. <laughs> but Frankie, no, Frankie, I, I, I actually played well, but I came out. Frankie was like, in the stand, I remember looking up things like that. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the size they've seen me on a football pitch, running after the game and scoring no Frank, your last game. Frankie's a full blown manager as well, isn't he? Oh my God. I think he did say something like, why did you go with your right foot? You should have uh, went with your left foot. No, but that yeah. game manager. we went to see. He was commentating the whole game, he wasn't was, he? He was obliterating people, mate. Oh, he's ruthless. <laughs> Why have they not done that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly like you, mate, at the side. Uh, see, he's like, actually, like, after the game, you'll add me a two eights, never ran that space enough in the game. Mad, mate. For 11, mate. To, 11, mate. Honestly, <laughs> Absolutely, isn't it? You have won the treble as well, mate. Well done. No one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in, I'll get, I'll be in over. That was the last game we played. I'll be, I'll be in over the full back stands singing Cy Ferry's a Winker. But all Aberdeen did ever will stick with the end of the season. Do you, well, I genuinely think Aberdeen have not got a clue who their new manager is going to be. I don't point, I think there's a point in rushing now. I think they are safe. I would keep him in it unless you are 100% who you're going to get. If you know, there's no point now. I don't. That's the thing, aye. They obviously said that we're going through the interview process over the international break. So if they get them, the man they want, bring them in. If they don't, don't rush it. Just make sure you get your appointment right. Is it Langer that's doing the interviews? Big Bernard, aye. <laughs> shows your swing. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be the manager of a day? That's right, you show your swing. Out in the pitch. <laughs> oh, man. What club would He's you no Imagine that was the questions. What club would you use on a par three? What, what, what's this by the way I've not seen this what is it the oh funny broker. mate Michael, uh, Michael Stewart and Kenny McIntyre Michael Stewart just wants to argue with everybody I love it though. it's good though isn't Kenny McIntyre's just winding him up isn't he nah, mate, it's yeah. a full boat you're wrong Michael like, don't talk to me like Kenny and then Kenny's like I'm just going to get a collar on Michael he's like don't bring that collar on Kenny <laughs> you're out of order you're out of order Kenny you're out of order <laughs> I've not so seen it was that. the whole argument about Lenny being the Aberdeen manager wasn't it this is Kevin Aye. Thompson though Tom was on it with him they was it a debate broke out between Tom so Tom and Michael Stewart were debating? They were they were also debating at certain points oh, as well. Right. But I think it was a mix up with that I think it might have been Kenny that said you can't you can't appoint Lennon. Lennon's better maybe suited to the championship and then Kenny said they should appoint a manager from the championship. Sure, uh -huh. If you're saying Lennon is a manager that can manage the championship, you're going against what you're saying. Okay. I think that's what Michael Stewart was getting at. I can't, I, honestly, we, we need to get names here for Aberdeen fans. Who are they saying? Because they're always saying, like, open goal, keep mentioning the same names. I've seen that. But no, but it was actually on that video. Because I went and clicked on the video and somebody brought, brought us in it again. But, but, but we keep on hearing that this isn't the right man for Aberdeen or they're no, get the right, whatever. Who are they saying? See, on, I'm on I, think they're wanting, I think they're wanting somebody outside the box, somebody for abroad that's done well. But are you going to get these sort of managers coming to Scotland? But listen, say, uh, this is what I say all the time. How does that guarantee you? I know, that success. He's a I know. Remember when Kelly, Kelly got Angelo Alessio, who, who was like Mourinho's all, assistant? But everyone's a Mourinho's assistant. Like that. That. But you know, have you seen all like Juventus or something? Conte's assistant, that was it. Everyone was like, wow, what an appointment. You sat down for three months, there's like no guarantee for me. The reason you mentioned the likes of Neil Lennon that because they've done very, very well in Scotland. They've had a proven track record. I know that's not the be-all and end-all, but like I always say, like, this is... I just think if you've got a plan moving forward of what your manager wants to look like, whether the remit is just win games of football, then go and get a manager at win games of football. If, I, I don't understand what the big... I think it's something that happened to Lenny as a player. I've seen that. I mentioned in a tweet as well when he was at Celtic. Who was it that came out and said about... Be, being maybe a, an ex-Celtic manager, Rangers manager, it becomes difficult then to appoint them as an Aberdeen manager. But why? Like These guys can handle <laughs> managing big clubs and ex I, I, I don't get that either. Sh Scott Brown was Celtic captain for a decade and then went in the Aberdeen. Like, there's no... And they're saying, but they're saying that, that's... Who, who was it said that, Paul? Aberdeen. What? So that Aberdeen I said it's an issue. That's an issue. Why? Do you know what I mean? I don't. I, I can't work that out. Um, I know there's been a, there's many a rivalry between Rangers the other years, isn't there? But I still, if you, you try to get the best man for the job, do you think they will have someone in by the season now? No, I don't think. So. <sighs> Who knows, mate? I don't. He even looks so. like he does look like he's capable, doesn't he? Probably, I know. Uh, and by the way, trust him with the job by the season. <sighs> Listen, Ross County has have had a fair amount of chances as well. We played against them the week before, and I thought they were good, mate. To be fair, mm. I've said it a few times. I think they've got very good players. It was just obviously the right man at the job, but can direct them forward but look at their squad man genuinely look at the best 11 shall I say more hey, Ross County squad. no Aberdeen oh Aberdeen's right be good very good Mikey Stewart on here mate he's been, uh, he's been on he'd done the car show didn't he he was actually no but I'm being on the hill Michael Stewart never done he'd done one interview he'd done it in the car but he would be uh, it'd be good, good because 
we could get some debates with him. Couldn't you do what, what would you like to debate Michael? No, Stewart? but do you know what I was watching? I actually watched the debate he was having, right? And see when they were debating, he became right up for it. And he was see when I, I, I can feel tension or a debate kick off, I feel myself trembling inside. So that's my worry. See if I was taking him on. Some days I feel I could get him. The other days if I feel we started raising his voice, I could filter underneath almost into the couch. Do you know what I mean? But I would love to be able to just go, do you know what, bang, debate these guys. Because sometimes when I'm listening, I'm thinking, I'm not having do, you know, do you know what the uh, issue is? See, like a Michael Stewart, he's very intellectual, mate, with his words. So he can so, tie you so up. So that can... He can like, tie so you up. thing you didn't want to go is, what does that mean? Uh, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> what, what, what was that? I actually asked you a question for your big one. Ah, uh, but it's not about words. Uh, you know what no, you're but they, they, Sometimes they can tie you up. If you say something, they go, what does he mean with that? Uh, and you, Michael Stewart ties Kenny McIntyre up. <laughs> right after that show, when I tied they both up. <laughs> Um, but I no, see this. remember, I remember we, we, we had the one we, we obviously on the here with Derek. I, no, that I that was I felt terrible because Derek's a hero. But the one where I came on the podcast and said about Faddy was rang, go to the Thursday, and Faddy said, How was I rang? But I didn't know how he was rang, mm -hmm. and I can just remember, <laughs> saying, I remember just staring at him going like that, and she, then you get him gutted. Faddy's quite intellectual with words as well. And he's, he's, is he? Yeah, Faddy quite intellectual. I think so. Uh -huh. I think he is. And he's, uh, he's another one that he's up for it. You know what I mean? Mm. He's if you red. get brain fog, so that's not fair. Like, that's why uh, like your just, mind goes blank. Give him 24 hours. Yeah, back. Like, uh, you should be able to go home, think about it, and then come <laughs> back. Come back. <laughs> but how, sit there for a couple of hours and I'll come back. But how many times have you, and it doesn't really happen in this show, but how many times have you had an argument with somebody you and you go home and you go, fucking hell. Usually when you're doing a show. that. <laughs> Why did I not see that, Matt? <laughs> it destroyed me. Well, yeah, this is what I'm And then you want to bring it up again the next week, didn't you? And then he's interested in it. You got it done. <laughs> and somebody goes like that. You've been sitting there thinking that week, mate. Oh, mate. You're right, but it's usually when you're doing a shite. Doing a shite. Uh -huh, you think, why did I not say that? The man? anger you push. My neighbour. Maybe that's why my neighbour kept going for shite. He kept losing <laughs> arguments, isn't it? But that's uh, one thing, so I sort of keep buttoning in because you're, uh, you're ready to nibble in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's one thing I, I think Open Goal is it is magnificent but I, they would love to see that where it becomes a wee bit fiery it becomes fiery but I think Andy and Faddy together could do it Andy I, I think that is the two I think you if you weren't a host I'm uh, with you maybe if I wasn't a host uh -huh. I am with you there because you, you're, you're opinionated as well like you, you back your opinion but you're an aggressive wee fucker I know <laughs> but so just... what, what is your fear that you, your fear that it leads to a fight is that least that fight, I just feel that, as I say my body well we had the wee, the wee tussle last year um, and what was that the John Stones? no no with that oh the Messi in a pub remember we were fighting in a pub so with Messi aye so after it kind of was a wee bit awkward and then he said to me wait mate what's going on here how are you and I'm in my lip while I'm talking to him he's <laughs> trembling so <laughs> to be fair there's been a few times he fell out and you so when I'm talking <laughs> to him, almost like my body, my lips trembling. So uh, regardless if I want to go, because people will say the new right. See when that's I, happened, so the best thing I've got, are you going to start greeting? I said, no. No, but he said to Andy, he said to Sly, he please hear me with that, but you don't make a great. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, uh, people go like, ah, he's a, he's a shite bag, which I'm not, I'll be up for anything, I'll be up for any challenge. But when it's physically symptoms getting shown up with your lip trembling <laughs> and your and your legs going, it's hard to keep going mate because <laughs> See that lip trembling mate, see what, see what I see you do <laughs> Oh my god Oh mate, I could burst to greet on the spot, I don't know why <laughs> It's just that, and, mate, there'll be people out there, no kid on their know, but there'll be people out there who when they're in the midst of it and they're in a, an argument oh, symptoms great. your body, your lip Mate, tremble. I used to, see when I was younger, I used to cry all the time That's But that was me for you that, I used to cry all the time but if my team got beat or if the manager shouted at me because I would get angry and I'd, start, I'd just start crying. Would you? Aye, all the time. And you like that now as an adult? Oh, <laughs> 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 I was as young as a wee guy I was. Can't shout at Andy, I'll start crying. <laughs> what about <laughs> losing a big game or that never great now? No. See, when you did see people growing, you think you're a pathetic man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, who, who was the one in the Champions League final last year? <laughs> was it the Champions League final last year, the year before? Well, there were floods of tears for ages. Who about that again? But then you've got people nowadays saying good to greet and let it out. Aye, that's true. I'm no way. But I don't think football's worth creating or do. Can I understand other things in life, but football. It just depends what your character is, innit? Well, if if you're gutted, you know the type of person that just wouldn't say anything. We just wouldn't talk to somebody like wouldn't talk to Steph in that for a couple of hours. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? I'd rather be I'd mer mer be like that. Aye, whereas uh -huh. there's the other ones that will just greet and get it out. 
But men, do you think? Oh, I hope yeah. so, no. I feel like I could greet the now. <laughs> it's just where the, where the show's kind of planned it and where the shoes are. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying, imagine getting schooled wearing them. Did you? <laughs> but in the opposite effect, imagine you go you've to been, something. You've been genius. <laughs> good to have you back, mate. Uh, you and Phil are doing it. Really good to have you back. Last few bits, St John's only to Dundee, I think. St Johnson could be 11. Oh, go to be a you did, you did call it a couple last of Last season, they made him Celtic, honest. What about Lyle Cameron's goal? Brilliant. No, wait. He's talk, been no, wait. Talk, talk you through his goal. It's the confidence that boy has. And I just like how he's he's got the belief that he's came up. Right, um, what was his goal like? <laughs> that, seeing that far post, or whip. <laughs> what is that? Whip. What is that? No. I didn't see it, sorry. The goalies is came it, out. Is it 60 yards, is it? Came out, kicked it. He's put 10 yards inside the half and he's just hit it first time. Magic, that, innit? Top quality players that can do that. It is all genuine. Nah. I've actually missed that game, sorry. How come you missed it? Oh, he doesn't care about anyway, the teams. Was it as good as the boy for St Johnson's goal? I like Lyle's better. Huh? Over here, St Johnson for me will be the team. They are woeful. Wow. I feel I'm just saying things may be more aggressive. I th- no, I, I, think, I think they'll he's be done, I think Ross County have got a lot more <laughs> He's done ever, He can know to be a fence since I said that <laughs> just keep saying just everyone <laughs> <saying, laughs> <saying, laughs> more asking me people messaging me See if Levine phoned If Levine phoned you now Would you, would you debate him? Uh, about your point of them being hopeless That you could go get up against somebody like him I, I do mate, I because On the phone or face to face? Face to face Anyone can anyone can be hard on the phone or Aye, but face to face a different animal mate have you, ever phoned a man- have you ever phoned a manager a uh, complaint instead of seeing him face to face? No. That's a hang now by the But phoning? Phoning. I've never heard Can that. I phone you? I'm surprised, mate, in this day and age, I'm surprised there's no mere rather than a phone call, a text message. Uh, that, that's happened too. Text, I can, text, I can text, imagine that. Why am I not playing through a text? Come and see us face to face, innit? All for the text. In it, bro. In it, bro. In All it, bro. for the text. Uh, is that what you do? I have All day. And then turn the phone off. <laughs> <laughs> Done that millions of times. Eric playing mode for about 24 hours. Hopefully it just uh, goes away. Did you see the St Johnson uh, Dundee one at the end with the boy heads out of his hands? When he heads out of his hands? Aye. No, you're saying... Should be ruled out. Ruled out. Yeah, aye. Right decision. Goalie two hands. Aye. So who do you see is going to finish 11th? Both of you. I think you're right. You can, I don't not put him in that position. Time Murray again to you, angry. He's, he's brilliant, mate. He's brilliant, isn't he? Honestly. He loves it, mate. He watches us. He loves us talking him up. He you, is, could be, you could be playing him on first. Go ahead and vodka them. Play them on first, yeah. This season. month, sorry. No. Or season. Play the season. He's been, He'll be shot. He's definitely a ginger of the season, isn't he? No, he's brilliant. He's, he's, gingers are angry, aren't they? That's what they always say. Why is it? Just now, Cameron, no ginger, no? Uh, we Lyle's got a tinge of ginger, eh? Uh, the pubes are ginger. Are they? Uh huh. The bastard, that. <laughs> that will hold him back at times in life. Do you think? Oh, without a doubt. I don't think it makes you stronger, mate. Why do you think my lights are the time? How, how old is he? Imagine that like, all the gingers asking for the floodlights to be. And the floodlights are coming out, you bastard, get the floodlights out. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's why the light, most, most gingers will shag with the light. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Uh, last one, Motherwell drawn with St. Martin. Wait, sorry, just quite. How, how old is Luke Lyle Cameron? Lyle will be about 20, 22, 23. Oh, right. I was going to say if he was in there running for Young Player of the Year, but I thought he was younger than that. <laughs> Who was that guy you say was up for Young Player of the Year? 25. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> 30 years. Who was it, Lewis Mayo, sir? <laughs> He's at 30 no, old. Kev came up with a belter last year or the year before. But he's not replied to that message. He's he's angry with you. Look at the lip going, sorry, look, look sorry, at the lip. Sorry, look. <laughs> see, see now I've said that, see if I have see if I have a debate with somebody on here and that lip starts to go on me. Oh, I'm going to date Thursday. I'll pause the recording for you. Oh, yeah, you got to debate somebody I'm Thursday. Sure right, Andy, how was your game, mate? Uh, we were very good first 10, 15 minutes and then they hit the bar for a free kick. Ryan Stone, great. I thought Mandon hits the bar for a forward and then... We won the great after that. Then I have a shocker for the goals in the goal. No, that yours is the only game I ever watched. Cause I know you. Know. No, no, I, 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 I should do better. I should do better for the goals. I'm in, I'm in the edge of the six for the corner. And the sun's coming for that way for the corner, and as a buzz in the air, I just lost it. Missed just the fight. Went to the back post. Fraser's nodded that in, but it was a, a draw. Was probably a fair result to be honest. We uh, we had the majority. I think it was sixty percent possession or something. That majority it when we were creating many clear cut chances. Then we had loads of unforced errors in there, St Martin. But we're, we're decent spells as well. Uh, you know what St Martin are like, they're, they're very good when they're direct mm. and, and putting up buzz in your, into your box. And but yeah, I, was I, was in your I swear I'm so close to saying buzz in your throat, there's that changed it. Buzz into the box. Uh, but I draw was a fair result. You'd be trying to organise friendly and sit in the Be my dad for you. Be my dad for you. Just keep putting buzz in our throats. 
<laughs> Wait, me and my dad were listening to driving a boot. Imagine that going to work and we get offended. Fuck, I need to get out of here. I need them out, I need out, man. Are they comfy? You need to get stuck. The lips going left. They look comfy as well. Oh, they're magnificent, mate. Me and my dad. Take your socks off. No, I've got hairy toes, mate. Genuinely. Andy, who was the standouts in the game? For us or them? Both. I don't think I can no, say there was no one. No game like that? No. One very, very good performer. Both had good games, but I want to say somebody was like... Kettle was desperate to get back on that 18 <laughs> game run, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Died after the game. In the horseshoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was boy. a kickstart for the run mate totally. So it was, he needs to get back in We need a night out with Kettle on the horseshoe Anything else you want to talk about? Oh. Oh, uh, just on, it was obviously Easter yesterday Yes Me, my dad and Melissa mate Went up to that retail part that had three shops And we all went in individual different shops At the same time to get the yellow sticker Easter eggs <laughs> How much How much you save on it, Martin Lewis? Uh, oh mate, we had We had about six, seven Easter eggs each for the shop. How many mate, Easter eggs did you eat yesterday? Oh mate, battered them five, six. No, you never. I swear, five mate. Easter eggs. I didn't. I had one full one. Easter egg and I felt sick, man. Did you? I bet it was massive, mate. Was how, how come Easter egg chocolate is better than? Mate, it's mental. Chocolate bars better. Why not just make all the chocolate? Thin? I'm not sure. Mate, it must be. Uh, I think it's because it's thin. Hmm. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went to the Celtic game and then I went. To you fucking did a beer. The lunch is new, man, didn't you? <laughs> and then I went for dinner with her family. How'd that go? And I never made an arse which is Did you know? No. Any awkward no, one will, argument Will you only go to the game for hospitality? Aye uh, Snob, don't you? <laughs> kind of guy I've turned into me or not Aye Andy, what about you? What did you get up to? Eh, uh, What did I do in the morning? Oh, I went and got tattoo Oh, uh, sure I had Came back Belter by you Came back uh, had, a, had, a, had a Sunday roast Had an Easter egg Did you make the Sunday roast? Yeah, I did What kind of meat? Eh, uh, Ham and roast beef <sighs> Like it, like a gammon ham. Aye, I don't, I don't really like chicken, mate. Like well, uh, roast dinner, I see like that dry chicken. Mm. I know you put gravy on it, but I do like a gammon, mate. See, even though it's the most popular, I think chicken's one of the worst meats. No, that's a that's an unpopular opinion. I, I, I love chicken. I, I, I think it is. Do you, huh? I would take beef, lamb, ham over it all day. Top it, meat muscles. Really Frankfurt meat. on Wednesday. That's your work. For work. She's flying out to Frankfurt on Wednesday for her work, guys. So. Be like a big Frank Fudge, do you? <laughs> do you meet him talking about meat? Aye. Aye. Do I talk to you? <laughs> <laughs>